solid. Not solid snake or solid OOP, solid XK, the Linux distribution. Apparently that's how it's pronounced. And I'll tell you what, Linux distro builders and maintainers really don't get the whole branding and marketing thing. Solid, spelled S-O-L-Y-D-X-K, is a Debian-based Linux distribution from the land of windmills, bicycles, and furries, also known as the Netherlands. I originally wasn't going to cover it because it looked to be a dead project, but it recently got a big update, and covering outdated operating systems is kind of fun anyway. The installer seems to be its own custom thing, and it's not great. It's extremely slow to launch, and it crashes if you try to change your profile pic. The disk partitioner is a bit weird too. Since I had Deepin on here before, there are leftover partitions, but the installer didn't seem to want to do anything with them. Like, I had to delete them manually with Gparted, so I, it was weird. It's an old school way of doing it. The installer itself took a pretty long time to finish up too. Anyway, the desktop itself is a pretty traditional KDE desktop with a panel at the bottom, and Solid has this strange welcome app that, much like the installer, just wasn't good. It's equally slow and it basically provides a list of curated apps and not much else. You can launch the Solid System Settings app from here, which, you guessed it, isn't that great either. It's one of those catch-all applications that helps you manage your distro doing a whole bunch of things. It appears to be single-threaded and effectively locks itself when performing a task, such as checking the mirror speeds. Honestly, I didn't really see anything super remarkable about the system settings app, so let's just move on. In the way of system resources, Solid is using 6.9 gigabytes of disk space, and the desktop is eating up 680 megabytes of memory. And in NeoFetch, we can see that this is Solid K with kernel version 4.19 and KDE 5.14 with the Evolvery theme, I think that's how you say it. And speaking of the theme, I generally like it, but there are a few things I didn't like, such as the notification widget, which is basically an exclamation point with a circle around it, which kind of looks like there's a notification there all the time. And I didn't have any troubles with duplicate Wi-Fi adapters like in Deepin, but the Bluetooth setup didn't seem to work at all. I don't think that we've ever had an issue with Bluetooth on KDE. Could be wrong about that, but Solid just refused to work here. I tried everything I could, but the best I could do is get the MAC address to show up. Very odd issue, I never got it to connect. And the volume widget seemed to be broken too, I look at the size of it. But the theme itself is pretty, honestly. It's basically just Breeze with a different icon set, but the icons really make the desktop look nice. Professional, anyways, they are a bit too angular and pointy for my taste, but I don't hate them. Now you can launch the Solid System Settings app from the KDE Settings app, but it took a comically long time to launch. I seriously thought that it crashed and maybe the splash screen got stuck. I'm not sure why there's a splash screen at all, probably to cover up the long launch time, but it did eventually launch. So my scanner wouldn't work at all and Solid installed a generic cup sprinter, which didn't work at all but I was able to remove it and install my actual HP printer and that was okay. And the default app selection is fine, though there are some interesting inclusions such as KeyPass, Lucky Backup, and Midnight Commander. And the networking situation was embarrassing for a business-oriented distro. The network folders and Samba sharing didn't work at all, and there's a little warning at the top of Dolphin that suggests that maybe the firewall is causing issues. There is a firewall app, but of course it wouldn't launch, so that's fun. UFW, or Uncomplicated Firewall, is installed and enabled by default, so I disabled it and rebooted it for good measure, but nope, still couldn't connect. I could share folders through Dolphin, and even though I set the read-write permissions to everyone, I couldn't create files from my workstation, so apparently networking just doesn't work. Solid does have EXFAT support and was able to open every archive format, and play back every media file in a single media player, VLC. The Etcher app image doesn't work because Debian, but the app image store worked just fine. There's no Flatpak or Snap support, but the Lightworks deb installed and opened without any problems. I was able to get Mango HUD installed and working without any problems, and even though Solid is using the old school Radeon driver for my R370, CSGO here is running just fine. 
There was an aimbotter hiding in the corner with a deagle, so that sucked, but everything else was fine and the game probably averaged about 60 frames a second, or maybe a little over. And next we'll look at a game called Spec Ops The Line, which is an older Unreal Engine game, but a native Linux port, and it ran pretty good. There wasn't any major stuttering or lag, but the average frame rate was definitely under 60 frames a second, especially when stuff was blowing up. The graphics are on medium here, so I could probably turn it down a bit and smooth things out. And the game I'll play over the outro is XCOM 2, which I haven't been able to run over the past couple distros we've tried. I actually thought maybe this was a problem with my R370 or the Radeon driver, but apparently not because everything is working just fine here. Frame rate's not great, but at least the game's playable. So what do you call a factory that sells passable products? A satisfactory. And Solid K is barely satisfactory, honestly. It does some things pretty well. For example, it's low on system resources. It seems pretty quick and snappy. And the default graphics configuration must be pretty good considering games that wouldn't work on other Debian distros run just fine here. But then there's the built-in apps like the system settings app and the whole networking situation. And uh, the installer wasn't great either. Solid actually started out in 2013, so what? seven years ago? I feel like seven years is enough time to get all the issues and bugs ironed out, but uh, maybe not. Given that Solid seems to be mostly targeted towards business users, me and my use cases probably don't fit what Solid does best, but I would expect networking to just work, especially for businesses. And since I'm not the target user for Solid, I'm not really going to say whether it's good or bad or whether or not I'd use it. I'll just toss it onto my stack of weird Linux distros that I'm glad I looked at.